Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to sunny Philadelphia and another vlog on Sharp Moves. So such an exciting time. I've just taken delivery of a new vehicle and I'm about to unveil it to you today. So if you've been watching the channel and following along for the last couple of years, you know that something is in the works. A new vehicle for me, my dream car, has been, has been, I've been scheming, I've been getting ready, ready for this unveiling. Uh, today is not that. In past videos, you've seen my Infiniti breaking down, you've seen me moving into my wife's Kia Optima Hybrid video to come soon. Uh, today, the vehicle delivery, the, the taking delivery um, sort of aspect is for my wife, okay? And in saying that, this is still a badass vehicle. So we've been doing our research, we've been looking at German, we've been looking at American, we've been looking at, you know, Japanese, Korean, uh, and we finally, you know, after doing our due diligence, we've, we've kind of gravitated more to the German sort of side of things. Uh, I think probably a lot of you guys in the, in the comments, a lot of subscribers are probably going to like that. Uh, personally, that's, I'm a big fan of, of German uh, sort of automotive, personally. Um, obviously seeing that Italian is unattainable right now. Okay, so without further ado, no more beating around the bush, no more clickbaiting you. It's on. Uh, without further ado, our new Audi Q3 Black Badge. Let's get into it. So here it is, uh, our 2019 Audi Q3 Black Badge. And I call it a Black Badge. Uh, a lot of you guys, before you come at me in the comments, say, hey, listen, that's not a Black Badge. Black Badge is for Rolls Royce. This isn't a Black Badge. This is not obviously a Rolls Royce. It's not an S model. It's not an RS model. That's for damn sure. Um, but its last owner, it's a 2019 with about 5,000 miles on it. Its last owner must have been a young guy or something who really loved carbon fiber. Mwah, carbon fiber. Uh, so really decked it out. Everything is all blacked out, just like my Infinity, white with black trim, but, uh, black sort of you know accents, uh, and carbon fiber everywhere. Little sort of additions, which is why we sort of gravitated to buying this vehicle. So let's just do a quick little sort of walk around here. We'll get a quick little visual there. You can see the, the, the badge in the back all blacked out. Let me just give you a little quick look-see of the key here. Boom. Pretty standard, pretty ordinary, nothing special. Let's have a quick little walk around here. I'll flip the camera. All right, so we'll just get a little walk around there. This vehicle came all debadged, so no Q3 logoing. You know, this I actually put on here as a little addition. Uh, got it from got it from Audi Cost like I don't know 20 bucks pretty easy pretty simple um, As you can see the the carbon fiber all over the place. You're gonna see that hopefully the camera is picking that up uh, Carbon fiber here 
We're probably gonna remove these pieces. I don't know if you can see that, right? That says S line in carbon fiber. It looks a little tacky, as well as these little these little black sort of inserts that kind of almost break up the vehicle a little bit. I think we want to eliminate sort of that and that on both sides. I think it's just maybe a little bit too much. But again, the, the carbon fiber flows throughout. It's all through here, it's all through there. It's even on the, the mirror housing here. Really, really nice touches. Um, and then obviously this black, gloss black rims, uh, th those come stock, right? Not to mention the front grille all blacked out as well. So again, this, this is kind of the reason that we gravitated to this car. Obviously, you know, getting into an Audi, it's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit more expensive than your, your typical sort of, you know, what, what, what would have been the, the sort of the competitors that say, you know, an average infinity, we were looking at, you know, a couple Acuras, um, you know, a couple Lexuses, stuff like that. And we decided to go German. We decided to go to Audi just because of the build quality, um, you know, technology inside of it. Um, you know, obviously price point was, was an issue as well. We were looking at that, uh, but just overall sort of build quality, um, and high level technology is what sort of gravitated us to, to this vehicle. So in saying that technology wise, let's take a little quick look, see inside here again, carbon fiber. I'm going to continue to throw carbon fiber your way, carbon fiber all on the door sills there, carbon fiber on the steering wheel, all through the, the, the top sort of panel here really really nice on the other side as well in the back you're going to notice that as well right there right just just decked out with carbon fiber so just getting into the cockpit here um, and looking at audi's sort of you know user interface their their digital display here you can see this you know it's a q3 so it's very entry level but comparison to other cars in the you know, in the, the sort of competing range, this sort of size mid-range SUV, this is top notch, top level, right? You give it a little bit of gas, right? Everything's digital, big, big screen here kind of worked into the dashboard, more carbon fiber there, right? You've got your drive modes, you've got your, your parking assist, you've got the stop start for your engine, right? Good for Lena. Right, and then again, you're you're in an Audi, so you're getting you're getting this really high level sort of build quality. You know, looking at the storage here, pretty decent, right? But just feeling this little stain here, just feeling the quality of the leathers and everything, very very good quality, and you you can really feel the the quality of the build, right? Everything in here is just just done really really well. So, you know, looking at the sunroof there, nice huge sunroof space in the back. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're pretty happy with the purchase. Again, this is, this is kind of our, I don't want to say interim car, but we're both due for vehicles. Mine, obviously, if you guys are following the channel, mine's, my next purchase is going to be I'm after my dream car. I'm after something really, really big. I want to do a build on the channel where I get into a, you know, a, a, a high level sports car and then I'm adding a little additions to it. Um, you know, whether it be exhaust, whether it be rims, tuning the car, and that's going to be a two-door sports car. You know, we're not talking Ferrari, but we're, we're really, really, you know, looking at something sort of pretty, pretty sweet. So stay tuned for that. Um, again, a bit more about the, the Q3. Um, obviously not the ideal size. I think, you know, I think the Q5 is probably the, the perfect sort of size in terms of, in terms of how big it is. Um, and presence on the road, Q7 being a little bit big for us. But, you know, we are we don't have kids yet. We've got two puppy dogs. You know, she's just driving it to work and back. So we kind of figured that the three was probably, you know, the sweet spot for us, obviously being a little bit cheaper, um, which is why we sort of went with this one. Um, and then obviously finding the, the right spec, finding the spec, you know, all white. She loves all white. She's really, really big into the all white. Um, with black accents was a huge, huge sort of thing, um, which is the reason we went with it. So, you know, we're about a week in. She's driving it to and from work. She's really, really happy with it to the point where she won't even let me drive it at all. Um, and she's enjoying it. I think we're, we're pretty happy with the purchase. Uh, I think, you know, if you continue to follow the channel, 
Um, in the next little while, that big purchase is coming where we're looking at another vehicle. We're looking at my sort of sports car timeline. We're sort of, you know, in the works of, you know, looking for the, the correct sort of specification that we're after, um, which is kind of a big process. Looking at cars that are, you know, not necessarily in California and have to be shipped all the way here, but maybe something that's in Philadelphia or something a little bit more local. Uh, and just working on all the logistics, right? You know, cost of it, insurance, you know, juggling it now with this with this Q3. You know, we're in the works of buying a home very shortly. Uh, so just trying to make it all work, right? Uh, so, you know, again, I, I urge you guys, if you're not subscribed here, I urge you to sort of follow along a little bit. We've got a lot of other videos on the way. Right now, because Lena's in this beautiful Audi, um, my interim car, my in-between car has now become her Kia Optima. And if you've spoken to me, you know I have a lot of strong opinions on Kia. Uh, stay tuned for the video to know if they're positive or if they're negative. But I've got a lot of strong opinions on, on Kia. And I have another video coming out because I've been driving this Kia for probably, you know, a week, week and a half now since Lena's gotten this, this Q3. Um, and I've actually, you know, this car has changed my thinking a little bit on the brand uh, and I'm not gonna say another word um, you know again if you guys know me you know how I feel about Kia you know that I'm a little bit pretentious a little bit stuck up when it comes to my my vehicles um, but I've got a different thinking now so stay tuned for the video uh, I'm gonna definitely get that out in the next little while uh, but here this is our baby Q3 black badge black badge all carbon fibered out Welcome to the family. Now we just got to give her a little name. All right, let's uh, let's jump in the vehicle and I'll uh, do a little bit of driving sort of dynamics and uh, give you guys my perspective on uh, how it drives. It's it's obviously it's a luxury vehicle. Audi makes luxury cars, uh, so right off the bat I can tell you this thing just rides on air. It's really a lovely sort of comfortable sort of drive. So let's get in there. We'll just do a little brief sort of driving around. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of perspective on um, on what I think about the car, and uh, you know I I do recommend it for anyone who wants to buy it. That's why I that's why I bought it personally. That's why we bought it. Uh, so it's definitely a buy right off the bat. But I can give you a little bit of insight as to uh, as to how I feel about about the the ins and outs of it uh, on the road. Okay, let's check it out. Okay guys, so we're sitting here inside the Q3 uh, and I just wanted to get you a little look-see of the interior and, and basically the main reason we bought this vehicle. So just take a look at the, the lush sort of colors of this display, right? Your driver assistance here, um, you've got all your displays, everything you need here, your phone, right? Your voice activation, you know, your, your sort of miscellaneous key that you can program for whatever you like. You got your volume control here that goes to your entertainment, right? All right, good sound system. Oh, copyright, copyright, turn her down. Um, but you really got everything you need here, right? You can shift, bang, that kind of works through there. Right, but what I love is how it's digital and the colors are so crisp and they're just, it's interchangeable. So you're able to, to mix around a little bit. You're able to change these views a little bit, right? And kind of play around with it. There's your favorites, right? For your radio, just a lot of things you can do. And I know a lot of companies now, you know, you know, 2019 going forward, every car company is sort of up their game, right? So the quality of, of technology just in general has really come a long way. But just looking at the, the, the build quality of this stuff, like look at this, nice metal dial, giving you nice feedback. I don't know if you can hear that, click, click, right? Just just good quality buttons. Everything is just solid in here, right? You've got your drive modes, right? Drive select, right? I like to drive it in dynamic. It's obviously gonna be the most sort of sporty, you know, aggressive driving, if you wanna call this aggressive. You can set your individual mode if you like. You know, if you're taking this thing off-roading, which I don't think Lena's gonna be doing too often, you have that option. Um, 
you know, you've got your comfort. That's what she's going to be driving in all the time. And again, this thing kind of just rides on waves. It's it's really really nice to be in. Uh, so yeah, just the technology looking really really good. You got your climate control, you know, sort of everything being being controlled from these screens, right? And again, you get this nice haptic feedback, right? I touch, boom, I get a little click, 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 right? Very easy to use, very quick, just like a smartphone. Most companies now are have caught up in terms of no lagginess, you know, just, just quick, 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 quick. So really, really nice sort of options. Um, you know, looking at your Audi badging, you got your carbon fiber, nice, nice, you know, leather wrapped sort of steering wheel. Just a really, really nice sort of place to be. You got all your, all your lights, all your, um, you know, your garage modes. We'll open up that sunroof there. Here she comes, opening up. Nice panora panama panoramic sunroof that opens up, gives a little bit of light to the back, to the uh, to the cabin. Um, just really, really nice. Nice place to be. Nice place to enjoy your your time in traffic. <laughs> all right, so we're on the road now. Just kind of zipping around. Uh, I've got the sunroof open, but you can definitely hear that the cabin is very quiet, right? So we're gonna put our foot down just a little bit here. Let's give it a little listen here. Here we go. So it's got a little bit. It's got a little bit of power when you need it, which is kind of what you want, right? It's a small little Q3. There's not a lot of weight to it. I think that's one of the perks of going with the smaller vehicle, right? It's obviously got less curb weight. Uh, but not packed with a ton of power. I think this one's, you know, 270, 280, in and around under under 300 horsepower, probably a single turbo as well. Uh, so again, an, enough power to kind of give you what you want in and out of traffic when need be. Uh, but not, you know, not heaps of power, nothing crazy that's gonna, you know, it's gonna get Lena in sort of in trouble here. Um, it's got all the like creature comforts. It's got parking assist, it's got, lane keep assist which i constantly have to turn off because if i veer out of the lane just a little bit it's it's slowing me down it's pulling me back into the lane uh so can be a really really good thing if you need it right for my wife you know who wants all these these sort of creature comforts and these little easy sort of things that make make her life a lot easier they're great to have for me in a you know in a you know type of guy who who wants you know a fast sports car who's in, looking for an enthusiast sort of vehicle, I would turn all of those off. All the aids are off right away. Let me, let me, you know, veer off if I want. If I'm driving a little bit over to the side because I want to do it, let me do it. You know what I mean? I don't need to, I don't need to, the car to park for me. I don't need it to parallel park for me. I can do all that stuff on my own. So as we start to get on it here, let's test out the brakes. With every fast car you want, Stopping power as well. Okay, good. It's obviously a pretty new car, 5,000 miles on it, so the brakes are still nice and nice and sharp, nice and, and a lot of bite still left in them, which is great. Um, so when I'm driving this car around, I notice right off the bat that it's, again, it kind of just rides on air. And I know I said this a lot in this video, but it's very sort of, you know, very comfortable, right? And I guess that's what you expect with a German vehicle, but not a lot of body roll, you know, it's a pretty small vehicle, all right, pretty small, um, enough power, just kind of glides around. You know, the, the engine isn't so loud that every time you accelerate, you're getting this loud sort of engine sound. It's uh, just a very sort of comfortable sort of place to be. Uh, so, you know, I'll come around this corner and give her a little, little bit of a punch. And it handles, it handles well. You can see it's you can hear it's got a little engine it's kind of working pretty hard but the handling of it is good right the steering is you know fairly soft but nice the seats they feel nice and comfortable good quality leathers you can definitely feel that you're in you know a german luxury vehicle when you're when you're driving around there's another oh, there's a q5 a little big brother version of that one being in the q3 obviously you know a little bit sportier a little bit smaller so you know you expect it to be a little bit more nimble oh my god that that lane keep assist is so annoying it keeps pulling me look at i veer off a little bit ah oh, it's pulling me back over so again kind of like a, a cool creature comfort if you're not an alert driver it's gonna help you uh, but for me i don't i don't really really like it okay so let's see off the lights let's see how we do 
Yeah, she's got a little bit. She's got a little bit of something. A little bit, nothing too crazy. Like it. Let's go! Woo! One thing I find a little bit weird about this car is that it's it's a little bit punchy. When you're sitting at a light, you kind of put your foot down, you're like, eh, there's, there's nothing really there, there's nothing there. And then all of a sudden, boom, it comes on a little bit, which is which is kind of strange. I always find myself getting pushed to the back, kind of un underestimating the, the speed of the of the car. I know it's not fast, but it's it's I guess it's just that initial sort of pickup that's kind of quick. All right, let's give her some. Let's give her some off the light here. Here we go. Let's give her some. Let's see what this thing can do. Let's go. Woo! Underpass! Woo! Wee! All right, thanks for watching, guys. Just like that, that's the end of the vlog. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow the channel. Uh, there'll be more to come on this sexy baby right here. Uh, but without further ado, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Can I get my car back now? So I got some goofball here beeping at me. I'm at the back of a parking lot and he's just coming to ruin my vlog. So hopefully he knows how to beat back up without running into me. Jesus. Talk about ruining the vlog, bro.